welcome everyone to our vigil for this Saturday as we remember almost at Easter, but not yet. We've just come from Good Friday. We've come from the darkness of the cross and the tomb. And so we begin this vigil also in darkness, but remembering the light of Christ, holding vigil through the night and taking that light to the Christ candle, holding on to that one little glimpse of faith. We begin in darkness. There'll be a gradual uncovering and a gradual coming back to light. And then a transition to Easter. It's a unique service to Holy Trinity, but for our Saturday worshipers, if we didn't transition to Easter, we wouldn't have Easter here. So it's a vigil to Easter service. And we'll begin with our gospel today that really does start in the dark. It starts with loneliness and hopelessness and faith lost and our Lord lost. But we also are Easter people. We know it goes from there to good news. So we begin our vigil. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been removed from the tomb. She ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, They have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciples set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to look and saw the linen wrappings lying there, but he did not go in. 